Okie dokie, so Zimbabwe is down. Um, we skip, of course, that part because it was just a uh, over and over and over attacking um, infinite armies of riflemen for the Sulu. So, alright, if we check our city uh, map, we can see that we went forward very good in two cities from the Sulu, three cities from the Roman. And in the the race for who's winning now is changing. We are ahead in technology. We talk a couple of technologies in our way to where we talk Rome and Zimbabwe. Uh, we're still in culture stuff. Still the the German is having control of everything. So we gotta be a little more careful. That's why I'm moving some troops in there. Uh, I decided to move a couple uh, an army of um, infantry, modern infantry, and some tanks, so we can. Probably try to flank them, uh, and we're not gonna let the German have all the wonders. Of course, we're gonna get a couple of these, especially Eiffel Tower, it, which give me one science to every single city. So it is always good to have, and uh, and it doesn't expire. So there's another another plus probably. Um, so far we getting a lot of gold for this one. That was the whole plan since the beginning. And we need to probably uh, have some decent production too. That's the only thing that you need to be careful in what's going to be next. Um, probably some. Yeah, that could be. Uh, that should do it. I should start pumping some more cruisers. <laughs> anyway, um, well, the whole idea is try to, to catch the German. Um, now that we have two capitals, we're in, in a good shape for a domination race. Um, but that's not the point. Uh, we're going to try to make it more interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure that probably Alpha Centaurus could be another target, or uh, all depends. But it will be more interesting if we can do something with the culture, because as a German, they've been winning this game since the beginning. And they have like a two or three cities or great person away to just win. So right there now the Sulu keep trying to push me with oh, no, right, some fighters. Um, but after losing the the three big cities, uh, there's not much more that we can really do right now. So probably right now bombers will be a will be a good option. Yeah, let's go for the bombers. And we finally reached the 1,000 gold mark for free granaries for all my cities. And basically, uh, I I could go for gold and a victory, but uh, it it was kind of tough at the beginning, especially in Daily. There's some other uh, civilization um, that can do that more easily, like Spain or the Aztec, because they got bonuses and project and. Whoop, Right, my hat is always ready, and then um, and they have some bonuses and gold production. So for them, it's quite simple. Uh, for the Indian, it's just like a well, we can try. I don't know, daily, but uh, we'll see. All right. So the German is yeah, the German is trying to get out of there and trying to fight me. But I need to probably more reinforcements. So. Uh, I'm gonna grab some more troops. Um, Zimbabwe is down. There's, there's nothing over there, so we can probably leave a couple of modern infantry or riflemen and just move some tanks in here. I might need some extra support for if I wanna get rid of the the German. <coughs> yeah, tanks are perfect. One in. Nice. Double step, okay. Yeah, yeah, always for the infiltration first, mm. and after that, we have to should be able to start planning my attack to the German. Right now, the German is just the German, Spain, and, and me basically. The game, I mean, the Roman is still there, I guess. Um, the Sulu still have a couple of, uh, cities because he's been attacking me with fighters, but uh. I think they have a gonna have a tough time to 
get back in the game. Uh, right now, just trying to beat the German because they're almost ready to start building the United Nations. So that will give them the the culture victory. So yeah, the Sulu give oh, you, you, you and your fighters, man. Okay, uh, even the riflemen can stop them, which is that's not possible anyway. Um, Trees should be able to. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those guys in there. Um, yeah, factories. Right, that's the only problem right now that you get ahead in the game. Um, trying to take control of the of the cities and troops is kind of tough. So you gotta be careful with them. Uh, so we, okay, we already rushed the Manhattan project. I wasn't expecting to to see any nook in this game. Well, you never know. You never know. Anyway, uh, fast. Get something. Decide to attack my my cruise. Nope, not much, buddy. A couple of tanks in there. Oh, Panzers! I forgot. As we can see, we're we're getting very close to 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 attack the German, um, and we got armies of modern infantry everywhere. So, to be honest, in, in defense, I'm not really concerned right now. All the cities they have at least one or two armies, so that's very important. Every time you take control in a city, before doing anything, before start building whatever you want to build, get a at least a couple armies for for defense purposes. Yeah, that fleet keep fighting is good. We should be able to get rid of those tanks. Um, nice. We have the Statue of Liberty, which give me plus two population for all my cities, and the Manhattan Project, which usually they give me something very interesting. So <laughs> we'll see if we can do something about it. So, we should be able to get back in the race of this game. Um, because if I use the... We can use the... Oh, we can use the baby. To take care of that. There is a beautiful city in here full of wonders. Look at that. The pizza tower. The renter Christ. Christ uh, hanging garden. But... Uh, well... Just, just do your job, buddy. Just do your job. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to have that many stuff in the game, basically because I, I, I haven't played in a long time. But, uh, but as you know, you you keep the basis of the game, just uh, trying to take control of the map, uh, not let the the enemy grow too much. That's pretty much. Oh, no matter which civilization you use, the the rest is just taking advantage of their their bonuses. Um, and this was a big blow for the German. Probably right now it's gonna go down big time in the culture race because I noticed they have a bunch, at least five or six uh, wonders in there. All right, so right now let's clean the path. And let's move forward. That wasn't the capital, so that city was completely destroyed. And remember, if you nuke a capital, it's gonna be reduced to level one. But if it's a regular city, uh, it's pretty much erased from the map. So right now the German is in big trouble, and so far so good. Uh, I can probably say that we're in very good shape. We just need to keep an eye on the Spanish. And uh, this is Spaniel doesn't doesn't come up with any anything fancy. But uh as you can see we got pretty much control of the map with the uh, the Roman down, the Sulu down and now the German that is it's just received a big blow, uh a nuke, so I'm pretty sure they're not happy. And now we're building artillery so we are heading probably forward to uh a victory if it's everything goes according to the plan. But let's keep an eye on the next video, alright?